myself dr m manjula assistant professor in physics department satyabhama institute of science and technology deemed to be university today i am going to give a demo for laser grating experiment that is determination of wavelength of laser light so first aim of the experiment to calculate the wavelength of given laser light by using diffraction grating so what are the apparatus needed for this experiment is helium neon laser source transmission grating optical bench screen and then meter scale so first before i start the demo or what is the theory behind in this experiment so here laser operation so the term laser stands for light amplification stimulated emission of radiation so in this slide i have shown three process what are the three process absorption spontaneous emission stimulated emission in first process we have a absorption process for absorption process first the electrons are in ground state so that is n1 here small letter n1 represents the number of electrons in ground state n2 represents number of electrons in higher energy level or excited state so the condition is population n1 is greater than n2 when the electron in ground state it absorbs the energy from the instant photon e is equal to h nu1 and it excites to the higher energy level or excited state the absorbed energy e is equal to h nu1 should be greater than or equal to the energy difference between the energy levels e2 um, e2 and e1 so here this is the absorption and second process spontaneous in spontaneous we have a de excitation during de excitation the electron it emits the absorbed photon that is energy is equal to h nu1 actually the excited state we know the lifetime of electrons in excited state is 10 power minus 8 second that is the excited state is the unstable state here the mean lifetime of electrons before the spontaneous emission occurs is 10 power minus 8 second so the electrons de excite and it emits the photon in third case that is stimulated emission here the electrons are emitted two electrons from the image we can able to see the difference between the spontaneous and the stimulated emissions are in spontaneous emission the output is one photon in stimulated emission the output is two photon from the diagram we can able to see how it will be emitted two photon in stimulated emission the reason is stimulated process actually here i said in spontaneous emission Uh, the mean lifetime of electron in in an excited state before the spontaneous emission is 10 power minus 8 second however for some uh, some excited excited state the electrons uh, lifetime mean lifetime is as longer as 10 power 5 seconds so these states this long uh, life states are called as metastable the metastable states plays a crucial role in stimulated emission so in this state the electrons are stimulated induced or triggered by another photon e is equal to h nu2 so during the excitation the electron emits the both photon whatever it absorbs e is equal to h nu1 as well as e is equal to h nu2 similarly the second theory diffraction of white light so here by using diffraction grating we are getting the uh, diffraction images and we calculate the wavelength so what is the diffraction of white light the condition is the width of obstacle must be less than or comparable with wavelength of light used it means the spacing between the line in grating should be equal to wavelength of the incident light in an ordinary grating 10 power 5 lines are drawn per meter it means one line is drawn in 10 power minus 5 meter so the wavelength of the instant light is the order of 10 power minus 5 to 10 power minus 7 meter so when both are same both are same in the sense that is the wavelength of the light as well as the spacing between the lines on grating should be equal we have a diffraction so this in this slide we have a schematic diagram of laser diffraction so here we have a laser light source and grating element similarly screen 
See here capital letter D represent the distance between grating and then screen. So when the laser lights are made to incident, made to fall on a grating, we have a diffraction pattern. So because of diffraction, we can get a different spots on screen. The center spot is named as central maxima. The spots nearer to the central maxima are called as first order. Next one is second order, then third order, so on. So what is the formula used to calculate the wavelength of given laser light? Lambda is equal to sin theta divided by capital letter n, small letter n, unit angstrom. So here lambda, wavelength of the laser light, angstrom unit, theta is the angle of diffraction, h is in degree and capital letter n is the number of lines per meter on grating. Here we have a 10 power 5 lines per meter and small letter n is order of diffraction, this is a no unit. So observations. So in observation we have a number of lines per number of lines per meter on grating n is equal to 10 power 5 lines per meter order of spectrum that is n is equal to 1, 2, 3 corresponding order. So now we go for the demo. So the apparatus, light source, helium near, laser source, diffraction grating, grating holder. Optical bench and screen. In first step, we should place the grating in the holder, and that grating is placed between screen and laser source. I place the grating at the distance 30. So this distance is called as D1. We have to note it, the distance between screen and grating that is first 30. So I am going to do the experiment for two different distances 30 and 40. That is the distance between screen and then grating is here we have considered two different distance first one is 30 so we have to do for that similarly another distance is 40 we have a same procedure for that distance also so first i place the grating at the distance 30 from the screen now you have to switch on the laser source and adjust the orientation of the laser light from the laser source we can able to get the diffraction of laser light nothing but different spots on the screen so here i just focus the central spot on zero mark so now this is my central maxima so the nearest are first the nearest spots either sides both sides are called as first order image next is the second order third order fourth order now we are taking the readings so what is the first order value for left as well as right two point see here each small line is 0 0.2 measurement so here 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and then 3 so 2.6 similarly right side 2.246 so my first order value is 2.2 or 2.4 see here i have shown some values which is already completed so we have to note the values of first order left side as well as right side and then we have to note the see here that first order value how you noted the distance from central maxima that is zero central maxima to the nearest or first spot so that is our first order value so this is nothing but a distance between the central maxima and then diffracted image you just name it as x or x1 similarly right side and then second order you have to note it and then third order fourth order so now i just tabulate all the values in the table and then we go for the calculation similarly i repeat the same for another distance d2 what is the distance between screen and grating 
40 either you can increase or decrease now I just increase so what it is 40 that time what is the diffraction we can repeat the same procedure and noted the readings for first order second order third order so on on the table so now see here I will explain the calculation see in this table I have marked the values I tabulate all the readings with respect to the distance 30 first table and then I calculate the mean distance between central maxima and then diffracted image next column is that is fourth column is theta we want to find out the theta so theta is equal to turn inverse of x divided by d1 x is our mean distance value d1 is our distance that is the distance between screen and then grating d1 so once if you calculate the theta we go for the sine theta next column then you can substitute in the corresponding branch formula lambda is equal to sine theta divided by capital letter n and small letter n first order i can use n is equal to 1 when i go for the second order so second order so what is the value 6.24 on right side similarly left side 6.24 now i just enter the reading calculate the mean value and theta sin theta and the final formula lambda is equal to sin theta divided by n n here n is 2 so this is second order and capital letter n is number of lines per meter on grating 10 power 5 lines so i repeat both the things and then the calculations here i have shown the calculations and finally find out the mean of both values so we have a result the wavelength of given laser light lambda is equal to 6788 angstrom unit i hope you all understand the procedure of this laser experiment with the calculation everything so i will meet you in the next video with a new kind of experiment thank you